degree, we're doing sports uh, communication, and one of my subjects, uh, we have to do a podcast. So I thought I might as well start off with the four best dudes in the NCAA. And Hell yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> make sure any right. Americans listening yeah. can't understand a word anyone's saying. So, um, how how is everyone going? How's how's being back home? It's good. Ireland's under lockdown over here, so me and Charlie are under the two kilometer radius uh, buzz. <laughs> Can you guys go outside and rumba? Or uh, do yeah, you can? yeah, we we have to be within two kilometers of the house. Serious? Yeah, not not well. I don't know, Charlie. How much are you sticking to that? I have to stick with it because I'm right by the city, so there's guards yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I ran 13 miles this morning in my radius, which wasn't nice, but fuck, oh, Christ. Well, I, I'm actually all right because in the country it's actually fine. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm in isolation in, until, yeah. until hey, did, Wednesday. Don't put this in the video, too, by the way. What? <laughs> don't put any of this in the video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, so, like, basically, like, I had the idea because we did, we filmed the workout video yesterday, and I was like, fuck, I might as well expand this and so I was like I think if we keep this format short so people want to watch the whole thing in, unless it goes like too long you know what I mean so I was like we'll keep it short like Josh's relationship <laughs> and we'll see how it goes <laughs> but yeah so um, I'll, I'll give a bit of an intro but live yeah so yeah we got Jack O'Leary we got Charlie Donovan and we got Josh Phillips, who I should probably just be up the road to the house. But yeah, here we are. Yeah. So I, I got a couple of questions and just to kick us off, just a couple of one word answers. If you could have, so we'll, we'll go around. If you could have John Jack's hair or Maverick Darling's accent, which would you have? Did, did the other boys know, know these names? Do you know John Jack? No, Jack, John Jack is, <laughs> but I don't know who the other guy is. Or is yeah, our, same as Charlie. He's out of the West Coast. So there's a thick American accent. I, I, I think the young guy's hair that is an obvious answer for anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, His hair is pretty luscious. I is agree. Pretty luscious. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, split shorts or half tights? Half tights. Oh, split shorts. Has to be splits. Never, yeah, at the, just never at the same time, though. Um. So what, what about Charlie has to say half tights now because he broke four in them. It's like, <laughs> 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 uh, if 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 your uni never existed, where would you want to be at uni? Or wear anything else. So if if, what you if Villanova or Iona never existed, where would you want to be at college? That's a tough one. Um. You have to be in college. No, not necessarily. Stay back home. <laughs> Running pro in Colorado or someplace like that. Yeah. Arizona. I'm enjoying I'm life right now at home, like PlayStation and running and very <laughs> Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> how, how I mean, far are you guys from each other? Me and Jack. Yeah. Two hours, three hours? Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. About that. There's still a bit of a stretch. How yeah. about you, Josh? Not within the two kilometer radius. That's way too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you, Josh? No Nova? Oh, his, his internet's wigging out. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's, he's, a good, he's a good smile. On <laughs> he's a nice smile, just kind of frozen there. <laughs> I know, he, might, he might have to save that one for Tinder. <laughs> um, I fam- I'm literally underwater. I'm gonna try and move. <laughs> I'm, oh, he's back. What about best workout you've done this year? We'll start with Charlie. Um, probably a, a 300, 200, 300 uh, split workout uh, at mile pace. Yeah, I think with four sets with short recovery. Is that the same as Josh? He's he's cooked. <laughs> no, he's back. I think I'm back. What was the question? Uh, best workout this year. 
Oh, um, I did six by mile this week. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty good. And then just K reps all the time. I love K reps. So, so you guys do two tense. workouts a week as well? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, Friday? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. What about you, O'Leary? Best yeah, one? It has to be, I was actually saying it has to be our one, doesn't it? Yeah. At the, the um, armory? Six by a K and then the uh, two by four, or four by two by four, four by four, four uh, by two hundred? Three by two hundred, then six by a K. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like race pace effort. They were, they were nice. Yeah. yeah. That was quick. They were, that was going like 242s, 240s. Well, they used to me on the last set of twos. Well, well <laughs> that's sometimes happening. You, you, you were hanging for most of it. I did I did run under 30 seconds, which is a PB this year. So. I was going to yes, ask, yeah, did Ed did. break 30 for 200? Twice. He did. Wait, didn't he? <laughs> wow. Did you impressive. That one? Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Oh, impressive. I went to the, tr- I went to the oh, track no. the week the before wheels. we left. <laughs> um, and it was the workout. I cut, I cut my knee open on the warm-up because I, when I fell over. But I, I tried to do two flat out 200s to end the workout, and I ran 30.08 and then 30.03. So I was like, wow. yeah. get this man in a mile now. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> 800, 800. 800, yeah, so too. Do three Ks too short. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, what about Celebrity Runner Crush? Laura Roser. Ooh. Just yes, yes. I answered answer that way too quick. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone in Bowman Track Club, I would say. Yeah. No ex- Including Matt Sandowitz. <laughs> no ex-teammates. <laughs> Lopez, the man, the fucking animal. Yeah. You might share that with Mav. <laughs> <laughs> what about... Matt, Mav, assistant coach, by the way, to Charlie and... Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Fill him in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about something in running that triggers you the most? Oh, uh, being asked by people like, uh, what, like, do you run marathons? <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. Or, or what's your 100 meter time? Yeah, 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 yeah that too. <laughs> it's either marathon or, or at the 100 meters. There's no or in what's your mile time when it's not sub four? <laughs> What's your favorite? Charlie likes being asked. That I, I, I kind of like that one. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <but that's> one. <laughs> <laughs> We're at pre-race superstitions. Uh, putting my singlet and shorts on the ground next to my bed every night before I race. Yeah. I I didn't put like the spikes and stuff on the ground. My socks and the spikes and everything. Really, I don't know that far, but I have to oh, sing it. I did the exact same every night before the race. Which has been interesting a few times, but that's one superstition we have. But the other one is mine. It's just you want to shave your legs two days before the race. Yeah. Okay. You do it the day before, you lose all your strength. When your hair's growing back, it doesn't work. Brad, <laughs> when was the first time you guys shaved your legs? Two years. Uh, after high school. I do it in high school, I get bullied in high school. I got in high school and I got in high school first, but uh, I think I was 16, 17. Yeah, now I remember mine was at Nationals in Adelaide, where I watched Josh Phillips win the steeplechase the day before. With shaved legs. Yeah, and I, I dry shaved in the maroon that night. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, what about best race this year? Well, you two boys can talk. It would have to be the 753. Yeah. The 3K. Um, Irish boys putting us to shame, Josh. I know. <laughs> We've really got to pick up our game. Um, I don't know. My, no, my, my best race was kind of my worst one as well. It was, it was Boston because I ran 8-12, which wasn't you know, great in terms of time, but a 68 last lap, yeah. um, you know, kind of put into perspective what I could run if I just close yeah. 10 seconds faster, um, yeah. which would mean, you know, low eight minutes, so probably best and worst race at the same time, because a lot of things will learn that day. What about if you could go back and change any race from the past couple of years? Would it be that one? No, probably National Cross yeah. NCAAs this year. Um, I was definitely 
that was in great. shape to come better than where I did. So <laughs> probably that one. <laughs> For me, uh, conference mile, I let it be a jog fest this this year indoors. Yeah. And if I took it out, I could have won. I just lost an hour at least, so probably that. Yeah. Who won that? Uh, what's his name again? Uh, Georgetown freshman. Piams. Piams. Matt Piams, yeah. yeah. Good runner. <laughs> We're at you, Larry. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a race I go back and change. Um, because the ones when I ran bad, I don't think I could have done much else because I just ran bad. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to think of a race that I just I just messed up tactics wise, but um, I probably probably was NCAA's in Wisconsin when I uh, kind of I didn't really I probably took for granted how long a 10k is. And from about 2K into the race, I just started kind of hammering. I got into probably the top, like, 90 or so in the race. And then I ended up coming 140th or something. So the last two kilometers was uh, not very fun. No. <laughs> You've probably still got out better than I did in Nationals, but... Well, it, it, it'll be tough to be as far back as you are. <laughs> to be the back marker for about a kilometer. That does take skills. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for most improved next year. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> what about best running memory? Oh, this is a tough one. Mm, that is tough. I'd say for me, it was probably coming sixth um, under 20s European cross country championships. For me, uh, European under 18 track. Uh, that was my first Irish singlet, and I made the final, the fifteen hundred. So that that probably is is it. I still I still remember seeing you on Instagram back in the day before you went to Nova. Me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. When you you when you broke uh, three fifty, you ran like three forty seven or something, three forty eight. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good at stalking. <laughs> good brand exposure. Good to get the name across, I guess. Yeah. Mine would probably judging? be, um, you know, like the um, like the ISF World Schools cross country stuff. Like it's not like every country in the world does it, but yeah, I made that team a year young uh, for cross country, and you know, the year before at nationals, I came like thirtieth, and I needed top six to make the team, and I came fourth. Um, and that two weeks was just like traveling around Europe at the age of like sixteen or whatever, mm-hmm. just with running friends. Like was probably the coolest you know experience. Yeah. Um, probably, yeah, like, you know, that kind of made me think, oh, you know, like this sort of lifestyle being with like friends running all the time could be good. So yeah, kind of started the idea of college. For, for me. sure. Do you guys run there for Ireland or no? Yeah, uh, uh, schools, we don't, I don't think, uh, I don't okay. think so, do we? Not, we yeah. don't really. Say it again, I didn't hear the question, sir. The schools cross country, the world schools cross country championships. Do we send it? I don't think we send a team. Oh, I think we actually send um, the team that actually like wins the team championship. If I'm not yeah. mistaken, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I've never been part of it, so I don't know. They send like they send like the best school based on points uh, at like yeah. nationals, and then they send like the team, which is like the top six in like the race at nationals. Yeah, so no, there's like two we, races. We don't, I, I we think definitely they send the winning team. Huh? I think they send a winning team. They send a winning team, but they don't send individuals because we've been in the top six a few times, but they never sent a team. No. Yeah. Not good enough. Cool. <laughs> I'll, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was definitely no, the, not good enough to vote back then. Uh, what about where do you guys see yourself in 12 months? Olympics 2021, real shot, another year off of training. It's hard to know the whole Olympics now because it's like, obviously there's no standard. Well, there is a standard, but with the world rankings and stuff, it's very interesting. Like this would have been the first time the rankings would have been come into effect, you know, being used and actually seeing what times actually go to the Olympics. No one knows yeah. anymore. Yeah. Um, but I definitely say like if everyone keeps improving and in 12 months time, you never know which way things are going to go, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be the same. I think... 20, like I'll be, oh, I'll be 21 years old. So I think 2020 was definitely a stretch. 2024 is more like, and 28 is what I'd be looking at. But I mean, it's an extra year, and it's definitely something I'd have in the back of my head when I'm sure. racing next year. 
see how it goes. How about you, Josh, 12 months time? I mean, Olympics is a dream, but if it doesn't happen next year, I won't be, you know, heartbroken. I think the ones after that probably more in range. Um, but hopefully a year from now, I'm back at Nova. Uh, coronavirus isn't a thing, man. <laughs> We're running fast outdoors, so that would be nice. I know, it'd be nice. The next, the, next, the next four years are pretty cool, aren't they? So you have like World Indoors, Olympics, uh, mm. Worlds, Worlds, Olympics, isn't it? World Olympics, yeah. something like that. Uh, yeah. With no off so that's, pretty, wow. that's pretty cool. Then they might yeah, be adding cross country to the Olympics too. So that could be something. Wait, what did you say? Cross country at the Olympics? Yeah, because it's 100 years since Paris, 2024. Oh, yeah. So they might be bringing it back. That'd be cool. Yeah. There was talk, there was talk of cross country even becoming like a winter um, winter Olympic sport. That'd be sick. Yeah. Like running in like the fucking mountain. I think it should fight. be. It should be at one of the Olympics. Like yeah. Maybe winter's better because they are like a 5, a 10 in a marathon as well. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. So the depth would be a bit better at the Winter Olympics, but obviously, it could be hard to have it every time if like the country hosting it doesn't have like a suitable course or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be pretty yeah. sick, but what about what about what are you guys gonna do to a college when until we go back? You guys got much planned? Gonna time trial? Just train through or see where it's it goes? It's about like building, like just expanding our base a bit now. Like, yeah. There's nothing specific that we're training for, so it's kind of just laying the time trial or not. But we will take a bit of time off. We'll try to keep it as close to um, a regular calendar where we would have a bit of downtime and then rebuild from sure. there rather than, you know, try to tra- train from, for cross country from March, you know. Yeah, I feel that. I'm, 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 still, I'm still hopeful that there's some kind of a track season in yeah. Ireland anyway. In like yeah. the end of June, I'm hoping that our our national championship seniors is meant to be at the end of June. Which, in my own head, I'm still hoping that goes on and this all kind of clears up very quickly and stuff. You know, yeah. But well, a bit like Charlie, like and a bit like all of us, sure, we have to just uh, not what races are going to be put on and just build base and just train as if you're going to race. And if no races happen, I'll probably time trial. I'll probably do something on the track. I don't know. I have to get the legs spinning somehow but yeah. um, if if yeah, if there's no race I'll definitely time trial and then take it as if I'm going to take my time off in June and then build back sure. up for cross then during summer yeah how about you Josh yeah I mean well you know the minute I got home I realised the opportunity we have is something that you know NCAA athletes haven't really had before so I've uh, hit my biggest week of mileage this week I can yeah. stay up for a few more weeks and then yeah, probably if we can. I mean, I don't know if they'll be racing in Australia, but hopefully get a time trial, yeah. 5K on the track or something. I'm sure we can get something um, going. If there's a few people that could pace us, I'd like to, yeah. even if it's unofficially, just break 14 for 5K because I think it's a bit sick. overdue. We'll, so, we'll uh, film it, make it official. Yeah. It, it'll be Strava official, so <laughs> should be right. That's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and will, 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 you, will you be taking off your... Uh, 0.68 milliseconds. If I can... Was this, how many milliseconds was it? Uh, 0.51. 0.51. If I can 0.51. close under, if I can close under 30, well, it could be on. Yeah. Apparently, my last 400 was a 62. Close under 32. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, new strides still, so. Yeah, good. That's up, good. But yeah, no, it's. It'll be interesting, that's for sure. We'll definitely tease something up. And maybe maybe it'll work out if there are races overseas. We'll head over, head it over to America via Europe or Canada or see what yeah. happens, eh? I mean, assuming we could travel at some point, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm just <laughs> glad we're not stuck in the hotels for two weeks. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll, ca- I'll catch up with you this week. We'll work out maybe Tuesday, if not Friday. I come and spin yeah, the legs. Yeah, we something out for sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, thank you guys for joining the first ever podcast and we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks for being yeah. the first ones. <laughs> the guinea pigs. <laughs> the guinea pigs, podcast. yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. She'll be right. We'll see where it goes from here. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a Sounds reunion. Like a yeah. For sure. 
I uh, look forward to seeing it. Right. Look forward right. to seeing see you guys. You later, lads. Have a good All one, right. guys. And I'll, I'll see you this Catch week. You. Right. <laughs> yeah, sounds good.